Over the past centuries, due in part to the increase in carbon em emissions, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been growing exponentially at approximately a rate of 0.03%. Convert that to a decimal, which would be 0 0.123. This is our rate per year. In the year 1900, there was approximately, so 1900. In the 1900s, so there's 270 parts per million of carbon dioxide. <coughs> if this pattern continues, create and evaluate the exponential expression to estimate how much CO2 will be in the atmosphere in the year 2050. We're on to the nearest whole number. So the year we start is the 1900s. All right, so this looks like exponential growth. So the formula would be the following. F of x equals our starting point A, 1 plus our rate to the power of x. Our starting point, since they gave it to us, 270. So 270 plus 1 plus 0 0.003 to the power of x. So what this is saying, our function that we just wrote, is the amount of CO2, or the amount of years past 2000, or 1900, will give us the amount of carbon dioxide in our ozone. I guess that's what it's saying. Or carbon uh, carbon emissions, that's what I mean. No, I was right in the atmosphere. So what this is saying is years past X, our input, is the years past the 1900s. And our output is going to be about <coughs> the uh, CO2 in the atmosphere. <coughs> so we want to figure out when it's in 2050. So we could just do 2050, take away 1900. That gives us 150. So our input is 150. We can do that right here. F of 150 is equal to 270 times, well, 1 plus 0, 0 plus 3 would give us 1.003 to the power of 150. Do that in the calculator. 1.003 to the power of 150 times 270. 423.159. They want us to round to the whole whole number. So that means we look at the tenths place. One is lower than the needed value of five. So our final answer is 423. Because remember the zero rounding rules is zero to five. Same. Five to nine we round up. And as you can see, this one is under the same category. So that's our answer. 423 parts per million